Hello, my name is Espoir Sigbeaya. I am an actor and I am 23 years old. Excuse me, I'm not waiting in that line for another two hours. I demand to speak to your supervisor. Oh, you're the supervisor. Well, can I say that this whole thing is not being handled professionally? You're rude and you treat people like cattle. You don't know what circumstances brought each of us here. We have waited all day to get to this point. We just want to sit in a room and talk to somebody, anybody. <laughs> I mean, isn't there anyone in all this miserable bureaucracy who isn't merely concerned with what time to take their lunch? We need help. We are entitled to this benefit. We have all humbled ourselves just by being here and you're behaving like some centurion guarding the gates to Rome. I mean, who gave you the right to condescend? Give me the motherfucking form! I I'm not leaving without the form! Give us the form! We want the form! Come on, people, give us the form! We want the form! We can come back tomorrow and start this whole damn process again! But who wins? And I am medically removed from the building, which means the paramedics arrive, administer a mild sedative, and strap me to a gurney and rush me to the nearest psychiatric facility where I spend half an hour speaking with a gentle intern who incidentally went to college with my assistant Steffi and I'm subsequently released with a powerful antipsychotic which I can't use because I'm pregnant and after all that I still must go back to that office to fill out form 7001 and after weeks of agony and bureaucratic hell, I was finally able to see a doctor. <laughs> Who am I as an artist? That's a difficult question to answer because it changes so fast for me all the time. I recently just came out of theater school and now graduated into the world that was a pandemic world and the state of art and this medium of theater and my exposure, my experience with film and TV, which is very, very, very little, which is none actually. Um, <laughs> okay, first of all, I'm an actor and I am a musician, not a very decorated musician, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm absorbed by music. It's in all parts of my life. I like to think of myself as a storyteller even though people go through long lengths to declare themselves as such or be called as such, but I think that's who I've always been as an artist. Uh, I'm very, very impassioned by people and getting to know people and communicating stories. I, I, I would like to be a part of projects more than anything. I think when I was little, I wanted to be famous or when I was little, I wanted to be it was very much about the performance and the end product. And that's not really what it's like for me right now. Right now I'm really enjoying the process of meeting people, working with directors, just being, just being another chess piece for someone else to move around for their work, their story. That's very important to me. I think that generating material doesn't always come easily to me. And what does come naturally to me is just, trying to see how I can help someone else put together what they want to do. So I think right now, today I am an actor. Today I am a storyteller. Today I am a musician. Today I am a black woman. That's very important. I'm a black woman. That is who I am as an artist. Is It's, it's not separate. It, it's not separate. And so now I embark on my journey trying to figure out how to keep telling these stories, trying to keep telling stories in ways that come most naturally to me, incorporating music, 
working in ensembles, working with big collaborations. Every artist that excites me right now is someone who is putting out projects that it's clear how many hands were on the project. It's clear how many mediums have been mushed together. I think I want to discover how many mediums I have inside myself right now. And um, be there, be there for everyone and be there and witness and watch people performing. I still want to be the prime audience member. That's part of who I am as an artist as well, is witnessing a lot of, witnessing a lot of performance. Yes. Where I see myself in five years as an artist is also a difficult question to answer because my whole life you get to plan things and then sometimes things don't work out, but then you just keep going. But this whole pandemic thing has actually, I don't want to talk about the pandemic a lot, but it's actually changed how I process time. It's changed how I set goals. It's changed how I... It's changed the pressures I put on myself. And I think where I would like to see myself as an artist is five years, is, is being an artist in five years. I, I, I have seen a lot, of, a lot of people lose hope and get discouraged during this time, step away from their craft. And while I know they probably made those choices with, with all the conviction they have, like I, I don't, I don't want to let that go. So in five years, I hope I'm still an artist. I hope I'm still an actor. I hope I'm still telling stories. That, that's literally all that's important to me is, 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 is telling stories. If, if, if it was up to me, I would just study for the rest of my life because then I would just get to be a part and, and just discard everything that's not important to me and, 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 and fail and mess up and be bad and, and, and push myself. So, yeah, I hope I never lose my hunger and my curiosity, my desire for learning and training in any way that can manifest. I don't mean in an educational, academic setting at all. Um, yes, I hope I'm an artist. I hope I am learning every day. And I hope I don't forget why I love this. It, it's it's really crazy because I I really knew that AMP was something I wanted to do this year. Going back to last year is when I started thinking about the program. And I really knew that I wanted to stay in Montreal. So AMP has allowed me to do that, to stay in Montreal and not get that flighty feeling after graduating that makes you want to move and 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 break into the industry that I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling much more comfortable in just taking the opportunities like AMP that are giving me chances to meet people and to remind myself about things I learned at school that I should have taken notes and didn't take notes for. I've got to, I've got friends. I have friends in a pandemic that I get to see every single week. That's amazing. And these people, we got to watch each other grow and and without that check-in, without that sense of community, with people of color especially, I think I would have been really lost this year. There, 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 this is a big year. We know it. We know it's a big year. So I have, I have made friendships, and any friendship I think made right now is a friendship that will last much longer than uh, friendships made in just the casualness of being at a club or being at the pool. <laughs> I swim a lot. Um, but yeah, AMP has given me support systems. It's given me a mentor who I will never, ever stop bothering for questions as long as she lets me. AMP has given me friends, a family, opportunities, all the opportunities that have come our ways. And it's also just given me the time I need to just think about questions like these, like who am I as an artist or what, what do I want to be doing? It, 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 it gave me a framework to practice introspection and have fun. <laughs>